This is Sergeant First Class Miller with the 82nd Master Gunner Cell here today to talk to you about the feet width between your feed lifts. So here and here. So what we're going to do today is check that gap. Now not everyone has access to the feed lift wear tool as I'm illustrating right here. So another way, another technique that you can use to check it is to utilize a caliper. Specifically a digital caliper like I have in my hand right here. The way that you're going to do that is you're going to sit there, depress the, depress the follower, place the caliper in between the gap between the feed lips and measure at multiple points along that gap. So what you're going to do is check so that you can see what your distance is at multiple points. And then you're going to write that down and average it out across the feed lips. That is the preferred technique to do this. Now, the dimensions of tolerance that it has to go in between is that distance right there and right there. That's the recommended permissible gap between feed lips. Now keep in mind that is specifically for the GI magazines. Okay. If you need the NSN for this item, it's located right here. If you're needing the NSN for the new version of this that goes with the EPM magazines, it's located right here. The primary difference between the two is the EPM tool is tapered slightly for the slightly angled feed lips. For the 82nd Master Gunner Cell, this is Sergeant First Class Miller, Airborne, H-.